Uh, we've been here since five o'clock this morning. Um, it's now uh, 20 to seven. As you can see, uh, pretty much everything's gone in. Uh, we're just putting the last few things into position now. And uh, once that's done, uh, the barriers will start going out and we're running a, a one-way operation up there, up Haytor this morning, because it's quite narrow. But everything's going well and it's expected at the moment. Mick Bennett and Andy Orr's sight all the vehicles where he wants them. Then we start the build. Uh, Kevin and myself, we, we build the hospitality unit here and set it all up for the rest of the day. The first couple of days was really bad rain, but like today, another hour and we'll all be set up ready to go. Then the catering crew arrive and they'll do all the, get all the food ready for the team breakfast and the VIPs later on in the day. Things happen on the day and you have to make adjustments, things change, so it, it, it's well all machine because we're a good team. Uh, we work together year on year out, volunteers are great, stewards are great, all the main sweet spot team are fantastic, obviously we all know each other, we all work very well together, we're like a big family, so when things go wrong we all pull together and make sure that it's all working out and everyone's happy and ready to go. It is pretty much a eight months of the year planning job, um, but as I say, uh, when it all comes together, uh, it's just going to look amazing here today. Yeah, with a course like this and a finishing straight like this, it's so tight, which means that everyone has their set times that they can be on that course at that time, which means that it can be quite problematic, uh, things are said. But um, yeah, once, once everyone's in the model and in the mode, and at this point everyone is, uh, things run like clockwork, and, and it has to be, and it's very efficient. Uh, we build the gantry uh, so it's safe. Uh, is the first priority. Uh, goes up the side so the clock can fit on all the branding uh, and everything can fit underneath it. We need an early start to get all of this stuff in. There's over 1,500 tonnes of stuff that move every day. Um, so as, as you can see it's a small village. We've got the gantry that's now up uh, which means that now the branding guys, which is the team that I'm in control of, can get down there and make sure that we get the branding in front of the TV cameras for today's stage. The best way to keep the crew happy is obviously Costa Express, uh, which is our official sponsor. Uh, they, keep, they keep the guys motivated, they keep them uh, charged up and ready for action. Obviously there's a massive synergy there with cycling, but also I like to buy the guys chocolate. Chocolate is a way to keep the guys straight, uh, straight and narrow and uh, always puts a smile on their face. We have to have a finish line that's a certain width, so we use tape to show a finish line. And also it, uh, it holds down the cables that we use for the uh, transponders. <coughs> we have to stick down the tape. We've got to make sure that it's going to stick. If there's anything that's uh, going to stop it from sticking like little bits of grit. Oh, They're all the strapped jersey, to each bike. Jersey, the... <laughs> One of them. Yeah, yeah. And they're assigned to a rider. Bike, when you come through the finish line, it reads that on the loop. So I was just checking that the system works. And it does. We're ready to go. Uh, my job really, as you can see, we create an atmosphere here already. We've got support activities. We always have lots of support activities. The local councils get involved. The kids from the schools get to do their thing, which I think is really important to encourage them not just to be part of something competitive, but the cycling you know, world. So it's really good for them. And obviously my job is to inform the crowd of what's going on in the race and also just to keep them going, get them excited and create a brilliant atmosphere for the finish. The race start doesn't happen at the race start. There's a neutralisation of about 15 minutes and that's when the, when the race actually starts and the chief judge gives us a call and we get the, the clock started when she says go. Whenever we get the call, we jump into action. That's it. And with the reception being quite spotty here, we're struggling to get a signal from the race convoy to tell us that, that we can start our clocks here. But we can catch up because we can uh, we can set our clocks and then adjust to match the time. So I'm just waiting on John getting a phone call from Carol, who's our timekeeper in the race. Signal problems as well. Come on, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and that was to eight minutes, did you say? We have to eight minutes, okay. I've got to set the clock to ten minutes. That comes from and then when he comes out, he says, that's ten minutes to run, so I go click that starts and the whole clock. Three, two, one, go. Seven o'clock has begun with shows that we are ten minutes. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 to I don't think anybody realises how big a setup this is every morning. I mean, I get it quite easy, really, because I come in about 8.30, so there's people in from 4.30, 5 o'clock, getting everything set up. Obviously, once I uh, come in, we get the PA up, and then I can start to do what I do. 
it's seeing the crowd, it's seeing the, the reaction on the newspapers, it's just it's a fabulous event to work on, so you, being tired and having a few grey hairs and a few wrinkles doesn't really make a difference, because you're just happy to be part of it, really. Just to hear the crowd roar when the winner comes across the finishing line, just to think that you've really made you know an, an impression on some young children or just the people that have come out to see it for the day it's just fantastic well for me the, you know to call this a job in itself is just brilliant because I get to have fun I'm the personality that I am I get to talk about what I'm doing what I love doing create some atmosphere it's brilliant it's amazing though you know when uh, we turn up at four o'clock in five o'clock in the morning uh, you don't realize until the sun comes up just where you are and how beautiful some of the uh, finishes have been, yeah, it's lovely.